Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord to everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise, the, Lord. Lord. praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, that that song was Hallelujah. <laughs> My God, I'm not sure who that was by. Lady P has a, but it was yeah, Hallelujah, and then it said Hallelujah, Hallelujah, <laughs> all the way to end. <laughs> Glory to God. We thank God. First of all, uh, we just want to say uh, Happy Cinco de Maya to everyone. <laughs> happy Cinco de Maya. Glory to God. Yeah, May May fifth. Thank God. Thank God. Happy Cinco de Maya. So, so God bless you, and we thank God for each and every one that's with us. And um, and um, uh, sit here. Thank God, Lady P is right here. You can see her. Thank God, she she looks good. <laughs> oh, look. Yes, yes, yes. We're glad that glad that she's here uh, with, with us. Thank God that you know she's doing much better. But I, she'll tell you that herself that she's right here. But we thank God that she's here with us. Thank God for the prayers for all the saints. Thank God for keeping her up in prayer. And we just thank God for what He continues to do. Uh, so we just thank God. But we're gonna get ready to get started. Uh, and we and we're not gonna be on the line tonight on, on tonight too long with uh, tonight. We just we thank God, like I said, for all of us are with us. Uh, we just you know gonna go you know, whatever the Lord uh, has to do. Of course, that's what we do is the Lord have this way. But but if, uh, if for some reason, like I said, if um, if for us if, if we find ourselves where it's a little shorter, that's fine. That's okay. That's all, you know. Yes, and, but if, but if God takes it longer, then that's that's all God. <laughs> God. But, but we just. Uh, we just want to have a, a great time tonight. We're looking forward for God just to bless us tonight as well. Like he's been doing, he has been meeting us on our Wednesday night Bible classes. I mean, I'm really serious. He has been on point. Glory to God. And we thank God for what he has uh, been doing for us and all our lessons and how he has. Uh, and even on like, you know, as we know, in our Sunday school lessons, he has been meeting us. And, on, and been on point, and we just thank God for what he's doing and what he continues to do. Glory to God. Our prayers everywhere, God has just been meeting us. So we just thank God for, for being there and, and just showing up and having this way. Glory to God. So we getting ready to get started. We have our prayer, and this just makes anything. God, God bless you one more time. She's going to come. She's going to come with our opening scripture after, after the prayer. But we just thank God for each and every one that's with us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you tonight. We thank you for another opportunity, O oh Lord, to come together. We thank you, O oh Lord, for keeping us all out throughout this the day to this evening, Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all that you have done, which you continue to do in our lives. We thank you, O oh Lord, for just the strength that you have given us, even up until this point, O oh Lord. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the healing, O oh Lord, that you have, that you have provided. We thank you, O oh Lord, for so much, O oh Lord, for our mind, O oh Lord, hallelujah, that you have given us, O oh Lord, to, to be here, a mind to want to do what's right, a mind to want to do what's pleasing in your sight. Lord God, we ask you to continue to look over each and every one of us that's represented here, O oh Lord, over our families, O oh Lord, and our loved ones and our friends, O oh Lord. Continue, O oh Lord, to cover us all with your blood, O oh Lord. Continue to strengthen and encourage each and every one of us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you to continue to save, heal, and deliver, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we thank you and we appreciate you. And we just want to say we love you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. For you have been great and mighty, O oh Lord. You have done so much. Hallelujah. There's things that we are doing for us, O oh Lord, behind the scenes. We, and we don't even see it, but we thank you for it, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. We know that it's you that's working all out the details and the plans of, for the purpose for our life. We thank you and we praise you for it, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask you, O oh Lord, as the Bible class goes, Forth, Lord. Give us ears to hear and a heart to receive your word, O oh Lord. We ask that you open up our understanding, O oh Lord, to the word of God. Help us, O oh Lord, not only just to hear, but help us to be doers of your word. And we forever give you the honor and glory that's due your mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Before we get, before we go into, uh, I said, uh, Sister Maxine has, I uh, was coming with our scripture. God bless you, Sister Maxine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be reading um, Psalms 128, 1 through 6. Right. It says, Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord, that walketh in his way. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Mm. Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. 
Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of thy house. Thy children like the olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thou shall the man be blessed that fear the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of thine, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children and peace upon Israel. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Beautiful, beautiful. Glory. Thank you. Beautiful, Sister Maxine. Beautiful scripture. My God, my God. And, and God. love it. Yeah, blessed is everyone that hear the Lord and walking in his ways. My God, for thy shall be the labor of thy hands. You hear that? Happy shall thou be, and it shall be well with thee. It just keeps on going on. And then right there it says, thy wife. I'm like, oh Lord. <laughs> they talk, it, it's, you know, and this is almost perfect for right, right also uh, Mother's Day coming up as well. And oh, Lord. you know, thy wife. Yes, thy wife shall be as fruitful vine by the size of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about that table. Oh my God. We just thank God for a beautiful scripture, Sister Max. Glory to God. So we thank God for what he is doing already. And we um we get ready to go on our lesson. But before we go on our lesson, we get ready to go have a worship song. And then we're gonna dive right into our lesson. God bless. Let me turn off my sound. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord for being here. Thank you for this touch and, and bringing this tie down. Almost back to normal. So thank God for that. Um, I was listening to this song and it blessed me so yesterday. I said, I'm, I'm going to share it with you. You know, I love E. Dewey Smith and, and the song. But this is just bringing uh, old school, it's the old school medley, and this was in his benediction. So I want you to just pray that you enjoyed that. That that's what happens at the end of service when you allowing worship to take place at the end of service. Mm -hmm. And I I and I was looking at the lyrics to that song, and it's what the things that you're going through is just one of the verses is uh, uh, when peace like a river, that's the first verse, attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, whatever you going through, whatever is going on in your life, whatever the circumstance, it say thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. The lyrics just, just touched my heart. And I, I just wanted to share that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because sometimes you got to go there. Hallelujah. You feel, you feeling bad. Uh, you, uh, God is comforting your heart on this or something else than when, and something else that happened, things bombarding you. And then you can get into your secret place. All right. All right. You go into that secret place. Right. Hallelujah. Right. In that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It is well. Almost shot. Hallelujah. When God lets you know this is not because of anything you do, you've done. Hallelujah. He gives all right. You. Amen. It is well Hallelujah. with my soul. Hallelujah. But God has taught me to say, it's a thou has taught me to say. There's another verse in there that say, though Satan should buffet, uh, though trials should come, mm -hmm. let this blessed assurance control uh, that Christ, yes, he has, has regarded my helpless estate and has shed his own blood for my soul. It is well. Glory to God. Glory to God. It is well. It is well with my soul. Glory to God. But I, I love that. And I, I pray that it blessed you. It just, it blessed me. I was listening to it last night and it just blessed me. And I just pray 
that it blessed you on this evening. But that that was one of those, you know, how sometimes we do it at the end of service. We end up having an after service. You know, we have after Bible class, after mm -hmm. prayer, after service. So sometimes God just shows up in that time. You think it's all over. And then he starts hovering. His anointing starts hovering because somebody needed some, probably the one that was giving it out. Glory to God needed something from God. And he just came right in and just did it for the one who was de deposited into right. someone else. And then God comes back. Hallelujah, and gives you a deposit, yeah. gives you a restoration, mm -hmm. gives you a refreshing. Praise God, but thou hast taught me to say, mm -hmm. it is well, it is well, ah, Lord, Lord. with my soul. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jesus, Lord, praise Lord, God, Lord, praise God. Praise God, praise God, glory to God. And then I heard him say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, they did that old school man. Yeah. That that went into Glory, the old school yeah. man. You heard them say, Thank Glory to God. Lord. Praise God. Glory Praise to God. God. And then, you know, when you're talking about your soul. Yes. It is well with your soul. Then he well. went into it's a he's a wonder. He's a wonder. <laughs> hallelujah. He's a wonder yes. in my soul. Hey, God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He's a wonder. Hallelujah. And then the song came, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being a wonder. Yes. Thank you for making a way. Yes. Thank you for saving me. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And at the end of the day, it is well yes. with my soul. Yes. Praise yes. God. Praise God. God. Praise God. God. Turn Praise. back into the hands Ooh, of the Praise pastor. the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's, Bless the name of Jesus. My God. my God. That's Bible class right there. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. God. No, and when you think about all that he has done, when the song is, you know, is, is going forth, you know, it's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all well. It's, you know, it's, and you think about all the things that he's done for you. Glory to God. He continues, he continues over and, continue, and over, over and, and over. over. My mm -hmm. God, my God, glory to God. It is well, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we thank God for that for that beautiful uh, selection there. Thank God for all that he has done. Thank God for the word of God. We get ready to go in our, to our lesson. We're looking forward for the, um, I think we might have, um, no, a little correction. We still have some more scriptures out and so we, so we might, it's possible we might be finishing the month of May on our each one, each one, because we still have some more scriptures out. And so we're looking, so, uh, yeah, uh, so, so yeah, we won't, we won't be here and probably until we probably finish up May with our each one, teach one, but that's all right. Glory to God. Glory to God. That is fine. So who, uh, whoever have uh, that one, their scripture and would love to. Uh, one of their second ones. One of, the, one of the second ones, if you still, if you have one of the second ones, uh, you are welcome to to go ahead and start. And you have, I know some people that's not online have one out, so some outstanding. But if anyone on the line have a second one, be free to go tonight and be ready. Can you hear me? Uh huh. Oh, okay. I was glad. Okay. Touch the phone. Were you gonna do your second one? Oh, I didn't. I didn't. So if you're not ready for no, tonight, I, you're not ready for tonight. I had planned to. I, I thought. I thought someone else was going. I, thought, I know. It's I a, heard you it's say a, it's, it's a couple of people that's not on the line just yet mm -hmm. um so but if you're not ready we're not going to force you 
for tonight. That mm -hmm. was okay. Then I'll do, we'll pick one like we normally would have done it had we been together. Um, uh, you know how normally and when we're together, we just pull from the box and whatever God gives us at that time, then we we go with that. So let's just pull from the box for, um, on this end. We'll just pull from the box, okay? And we'll go okay. <laughs> and we'll go there. And then you, when you ready, then you can let us know, okay? So we'll pull we'll pull number twenty two, and that's uh, two and eight. That's Ephesians 2 and 8. And let me open up. And it says here, let me open up the scriptures. And remember, these were uh, passages that we wanted to just uh, utilize to uh, bring things back to our memory on, um, forti you know, fortifying scriptures, scriptures that strengthen us, scriptures that we can pull on um, to remind ourselves uh, um, about what God has done for us. Because when the devil try to play with your mind and try to bring things up on you, you can, the word of God is what we need to be hiding in our heart. So these scriptures are verses that uh, we can use as part of our weaponry. So this one is Ephesians 2 and 8. And it says, for by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. So I'm going to read it like the quotations. For by grace are ye saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. So that not of yourselves is that grace that, that, uh, uh, uh say that again. Uh, merited favor. Right. Yeah, that yeah. grace that uh, you can't save yourself. Uh -huh. Faith has is not uh, it, it it belongs to God. It is what you provide for Him to do the work. You didn't do it yourself. So whatever that says, for by grace are you saved. You can do it. You can do it. It says, and then it comes back after the colons and say, it is the gift of God. Salvation is our gift. Yes, yes. That is our gift. But we cannot obtain it without faith. All right. We can't obtain it without faith. And then yet we can't be good enough. Mm -hmm. We're never, we've never worked hard enough for it. There's nothing we can do because it's grace. Yes. It, it was grace that took him to the cross. There was another song I was going to play. It was, it was, it was, I go back and forth with all these songs, you know. Uh, I wish I can just have this whole list and I can sing them but that don't work. But it was one song that uh, talked about he could have come down uh, from the cross just to save himself, but he didn't, he didn't come down. And, and it's an old song and they just repeat it. And he didn't come down, but he stayed up just to save me, That's it, yeah. just yeah. to save me. So when we look at it that way, we understand that it's a gift. There was nothing that was that we can do to earn this gift. Now there's something we have to provide, which is faith. All right, yes. We have to present faith because faith says that I want it. Right. Faith opens up my door. Faith opens up my mind. Faith put me in receptive mode to say that I will receive the gift that you have given me. There is nothing, and, and we always talk about there is nothing you can do, you know, when, when it's a gift, all you're supposed to do is receive the gift. It. People don't work for gifts. All right, People go. don't, don't uh, uh, and tend to, when you buy, you don't buy yourself a gift, you may gift yourself, you may say it's my gift, but usually is a presentation for you 
for whatever the reason from the presenter. All right. The presenter have their own reason for presenting you something. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that yes. constitutes the gift. Yeah. There's nothing you've done. You know, they, the presenter mm -hmm. may feel that you've done something to earn the gift. They may feel that, oh, you were nice. Oh, you, you know, we give a tip at a restaurant. Oh, you gave me good service. Oh, you've been so loyal. You've been so faithful. I just want to reward you. So, uh, so the presenter have their reasons. And so when we go by the presenter and his reason, it said, because he loved us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life that gives the reason the presenter gave us this gift right. it was because he so loved the world yes. our our uh, uh uh position as presentees is to obtain it through faith mm -hmm. is to believe it Praise God. We are to believe what God has provided for us, and that puts us in the uh, presentee state. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Uh, um, and the next verse on that, uh, uh, verse 9 says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh, and that's what we had said earlier, that no one can, can, um, can uh, 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 earn this. There is no earning of salvation. Now, once then, now we do know there's a scripture that says, work out your own soul self salvation with fear and trembling. He is telling you what to do once you get it. He is telling you how to maintain it. He is telling you how to stay on the wall. There are instructions in what to do. So uh, there are a lot of gifts that people will receive. You can receive a gift and there are instructions tied to the gift. Now, it had nothing to do with the person giving it to you. Now, the presenter hands you the gift and you as a presentee receive it. Okay, that's what we're doing. God has presented us salvation, we receive it. Then now, now he says, okay, now I have instructions all that right. go with that all gift. Right, right. This is how you maintain it. This is how you keep it working. This is how you keep this gift flourishing. Praise God, because I'm going to come back for it and I want to see what you've done with it. Did you maintain the gift that I've given you? So, so what happens is sometimes when someone gives you a gift, there comes with instructions because sometimes they can give say, if somebody uh, a gift you with a computer. There's instructions on how to turn it on. There's instructions on how to maintain it. There's instructions on how to hook it up and all of those things. If you mess up on any of those instructions, you can blow out the computer. You can cause the computer not to work. You can do any of that. And, you know, yes. anything can cause it to shut down or you to lose whatever you uh, uh, it was given to you for. The computer has a certain job to do. It has a certain uh, operational function. And so when you don't utilize the instructions, right, then you don't get the most effective use out of that computer. So what happens is when you get this gift, Praise God. God has presented it. So now the next thing he gives us is instructions on what to do with this gift. But it says not of our works. We can't work. A lot of people think that they can do and earn their way into the kingdom. And, and I, I hear and I hear it so much. And even as many times as we've heard this on uh, uh, TV, you do, you hear ministers and pastors and preachers saying this all the time. You can't work, you know, uh, um, this is the gift, this is the gift. And yet people still have that mindset that the more they do, that is the thing that's going to get them in. And then, but their lifestyles don't reflect the work. The lifestyles don't reflect what the gift is representing. The lifestyle is not representative of that. But then you feel if you just show up and you work, 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 and you do, 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 and, and all of that, it's going to earn you a seat in the kingdom. And it doesn't work that way. 
praise God, because the scripture here says, lest any man should boast. That's there right. are a lot That's of people right. that can work harder than me. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that you have so many people that do uh, uh, the giving side of ministry so well. They do the giving side of ministry. They do the, the sacrificial side of ministry so well. You know, uh, uh, people that sacrifice themselves and, and go on missions and all these things. And they do it so well, you know. And so what happens is some people may judge you by those works and by those things that you are doing, not understanding. And we've been talking about the heart and we've been talking about uh, um, what God is looking at in the heart. And we've been talking about the intents of the heart. So just because you can do ministry well and do these things well, some things come easy to people. So you do a lot of it and you constantly do it. We wear ourselves out with doing. And so therefore then uh, because you're, you're looking at that as the, uh, 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 the measure and the measurement of your salvation. Now you look at someone else and use that same measuring stick to say that they are not. All right, all right. And now you go into a judgment pharisaical right. state. Mm -hmm. And that's what we don't ever want to be in. We never want to be in a Pharisee state. Our, each one of us, and we talk about this all the time, we have, each one of us have an assignment. At the end of the day, when it's time for Jesus to reward us and to come back to get us, when it's that time, he's going to look at what you did with the talent and the assignment that you were giving. Not that you crossed over into somebody's lane and tried to outdo them, but whatever he's given you to do, whatever the instructions was on your part of the kingdom, did you fulfill it? So we, we cannot boast. He don't leave us in a state where we can boast on anything because the scripture says here, not of works, lest any man should boast he don't he always want to get the glory he's never putting us in a state where we are the ones that get the glory he wants the glory it is always his glory praise god so i love i i i love the scripture and then you know we just did the pull out the box you know so <laughs> oh goodness Praise God, praise God, praise God. You know, that verse 10, you know, for, and, and that, that kind of, all this kind of uh, works in together in the, in the context for it, because it's let, let you know for us right before in verse nine, not a works lest any man shall boast. So, it, but it, it's all just like, just like you were saying earlier, you can't work your way. You can't work your way to this gift. It's a free gift God has given us. You can't work your way. But, it, but And so it allows you to see you can't work it, but in verse 10, it allows you to see for we are his workmanship. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we are his work, you know, workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto what? Unto good works. Mm -hmm. See, you know, so so when he when he turns around and saves us in our life, is we start, it's, be, it's, it's because of the, because what the Lord has done in us, our work, the works, what happens, the good work starts coming from, from, what, from what's in us now, not because we're working to try to get the gift or try to get, no, but now because we are his, his workmanship and created in Christ, we are created to Christ, we find ourselves, we, we, you know, we want to please him because we want to please him, we want to do what's pleasing to God. Our life, as our lives, as we as He's transforming us, transforming our minds. We not work. We our work. We our good works automatically just come out and start. You how you doing? Because you just doing what's pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So it's not that. It's, so it's just. It, so it's the good works are just coming from the gift what He gave you. You know. So so uh, so because we are His workmanship. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. So we are created in Christ unto good works. And said, which God have before ordained that we should what? Walk in them. Mm -hmm. Walk mm -hmm. in them. 
my God, my God. So so I love it. Like with Lady P, she she pretty much dissects the whole verse. <laughs> and therefore, by grace, now that's that grace, that's that unmerited favor. Unmerited favor. You can't earn it. We can't earn it. No kind of way at all. My God is, you know, you know, that's not, not like Lady P was saying, no matter what you do, you can't you can't stay up 24 trying to work it. No, it's by God's grace. His unmerited favor. Uh, we can't do enough to. If you look at, you know, we have, we've seen different ones in the Bible, of course. I talk for us, Cornelius. You know, a man that you know it was you know uh, very you know it's in arms up. You know, so very you know very devout man, and but he yet had to receive the gift. Mm -hmm. Glory to mm -hmm. God, Hallelujah! It shows that we can't be good enough. We yet gotta we got we yet gotta receive the gift. The, the, of the Holy Ghost. We can't be just so good that, you know, it, and I thank God for the work because when Peter went to him and Peter Peter uh, opened the word, you know, pretty much started telling him about Jesus, but it was, but, but this man was a devout man, a devout man. And we see other ones in the Bible, like I say, that was, my God, that were just awesome men. And, but it yet shows that we yet still have to have God, glory to God, no, no matter how good we are, we can't do a good enough things, you know, so, so, I, so it's not by works and, you know, we have to, like I say, thank God for them. And God is so awesome because it's a free gift. Make sure that nobody is, you know, is saying that I, I, I got a million bucks, I got this, so I'm going to pay my way through. No, no, no. It's a, it's a free gift. So it puts everybody on the same playing field. Mm -hmm. Nobody, just like he gave, just like every, just like he gave every man a, a measure of faith, every man a measure of faith. Glory to God. So he put us all on that same even tip till where, and so that, so that so now that you can't come to him and say, "Well, I didn't get the gift because of this reason, that reason." No, that no. It says that by the it is implored by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. Nothing that you can do, nothing you can earn. No way. It is the gift of. God, glory to God. So we thank God for the gift, the free gift. We have a hand up. Uh, okay. Uh, Evan Evangelist Owens has to be Praise the Lord. I just want to say I thank the Lord because he didn't do what some of us do at times. Mm -hmm. You know, when we get something either we can't wear, can't fit, can't return, we re gift. All right, <laughs> all right. All right. He meant it. He planned it well. It was designed to fit. It was designed to be with us all the way into eternity. Mm -hmm. It fits well. We can wear it well. We can. It doesn't wear out. This gift doesn't have to be re-gift, though. It can be. Uh, uh, it can. Others can benefit mm -hmm. from our gift. Yes. But we can't re-gift it and give it to somebody else. The gift comes from God. Mm -hmm. And he didn't give us something used or something he did not want. He gave us the best thing from heaven. Mm. And it was wrapped in swaddling clothes. Mm -hmm. And then it was wrapped again when they took it off the cross. Mm -hmm. And now it's wrapped in us. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. This outer is the wrapping. Mm -hmm. The gift is on the inside. All right. Mm -hmm. That's all. Beautiful, beautiful. Praise God. That is so true. I was looking at, I'm just looking at the, um, just a few more verses of that passage. It said, wherefore, remember. Uh -huh. You know, he, he keeps telling us to remember. Yes. Remember. We, and that's how we keep appreciating and valuing this gift because we remember That's right yes you say wherefore remember that ye being in time past gentiles in the flesh and pastor just talked about cornelius and says who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hand that at that time ye were without Christ, yes, yes. being aliens. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even for us. You know, you understand what uh -huh. I'm saying? We wasn't yeah. even That's the right. chosen. Mm -hmm. 
So he called us aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, mm -hmm. having no hope That's it. and without God in the world. Mm -hmm. We hear in this world without mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. You know, we sing a song without God, I will be nothing. Yes. Without him, I will fail. Right. Praise God. Right. But Adam, there was a time mm -hmm. there was, we had no hope. We was without God, not understanding, not knowing mm -hmm. that he had already uh, uh, planned this in the garden. See, see, Gentiles didn't, we didn't know all that picture. He told us this later, but at that time we are without God, without uh, 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 in the world. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were, were far off are made nigh by the blood of Jesus. Yes. He done brought us closer. He done brought us to him. Mm -hmm. And now we're in the family by the blood of Jesus. Right. He, yes. he, he shed his blood. Uh -huh. So see, that's why we can say it is not of ourselves. It's the gift of God. It's yes. grace. Grace was afforded to us that was without hope. Mm -hmm. But the scriptures say, wherefore, remember this. All right. yes. So you can value this. Mm -hmm. We brought, I brought this with my own hand. I brought this. I reconciled you back mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because I wanted a relationship with you. Yes. Hallelujah. It say, for he is our peace. Mm -hmm. He is our peace, yes. not was, but he is our peace, who hath made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Mm -hmm. Ah, I know evangelists, you're going back to the tabernacle on that one, mm -hmm. but broken down between us. Yes. So he then brought us back and said, now there is nothing between me and you. Hallelujah. I have abolished it. I moved it. It said, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile, we said that a little earlier, both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you, which were far off and to them that were nigh. So no matter who you were, no matter what side of the spectrum you, you thought you were on, you were included in the grace. You were included in this grace, praise God. So, so by faith, if you believe it, he that is that believe and is baptized, and I, if I'm, it could be botching up that scripture, shall be saved. He that believed it. Then it said, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed it? So do you have enough faith to receive this gift that he's presented us? Glory, Glory to God. Glory it, 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 because you nothing you can do. I, he's laid it out on what he's done. I've abolished this. I've abolished that. You were without hope. You didn't have a God in this world. You was considered nothing. Glory to God. And then I had Peter to, to, to utilize the keys right. and I opened the door so that you can enter. Right. Hallelujah. But do you believe it? Do you believe it? Yes. Glory, Glory to God. God. I was, I was the other day I was, you know, you know, in my time and I was looking and I'm like, oh, yeah. And I started uh, contemplating I'm like, do we really believe it? And, and so I, you know, I, I tend to write subjects down just in case I got to study something later, but that was on me on, do you believe it? Do you really believe this thing? Because that's when things happen. Right. That's when we tap into God. That's when we value him. That's when we value our salvation. That's when we value this word. That's when we know he's coming back is because we really believe it. We operate as though we believe this thing. And a lot of times that is the 
problem that we're, we are seeing people talk it. Right. It sounds good. Right. Just because you say something don't mean you believe it. Right. it. Glory to Glory. God. Believing it changes your yes. outlook. Yes, it, it changes your focus. It changes how you operate. Glory. It changes you from yes. the inside out. It changes how you approach anything. Glory. It it says here, Wherefore, remember, it causes you to remember where he brought you from. It causes things to happen when you really believe it. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. And that's it. And so, therefore, I started, I'm start, I'm, I'm, I'm just doing the, a little beautiful, research beautiful, on it, beautiful. you know, because the, the Bible talks about he that believed it, he that believed it. And it's talking about, and now we have here through faith. Do you really believe it? God, y'all both shot. We got to believe it unto salvation. We already had a lesson on saved to be saved. Yes. Hallelujah. We got to believe it until he get us out of here. Hallelujah. We got to believe he's going to get us out of yes. here. We got to believe he's coming and he can come any day. We got to believe the scripture that says he's coming like a thief in the Glory. night. The one that's not ready. The one that don't believe it. Glory. It's going to be a shock. Yes. It's going to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. How do up? He's going to sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. When he's telling us, he's showing us, he's telling us the time of the day. This is what it is right now. Just look at the signs. Right. I'm telling you the signs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was listening to the, uh, the fights. They had their Bible class on, on Tuesday on last night, and they was talking about the dispensation, and they was talking about soon we're going to be moving from this dispensation to kingdom dispensation. Right. Glory to God. They was talking about the different dispensations. I want to be ready yes. for the dispensation change. Child elbow shot. I want to yes. be ready. Yes. I don't want to be left out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when he comes back, whatever's going to happen in that next dispensation, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, Lord. don't forget about me. Don't leave me out. Hallelujah. But guess what? That's because I believe it. I pray that way because I believe it. I ask God to keep me one step ahead of the enemy because I believe it. Hallelujah. I believe you can get tripped up. I believe the devil is subtle. I believe the devil will come and try to pull you out. I believe he messes with the mind. I believe he's doing this and that because he don't want you to make it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But my mind, hallelujah, with the mind we serve the Lord. Lord, keep my mind. But I got to pray that prayer because I believe he can keep it. Hallelujah. In Jude, it talked about uh, 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 um, that what he's going to do for us. Yeah. He, he's going to present us faultless. Yes. I believe that. Lord. I believe he's able to keep you. Yes. I believe he's able to keep that which you have committed I unto know. him. And if I've committed my life, unto him he's able to keep it hallelujah in the end right. hallelujah right. i'm saved i received this gift for by grace are ye saved through faith yes i got that yes i received it i got the gift hallelujah but now guess what i still got to be saved in the end hallelujah. hallelujah that one time that receiving it guess what he can keep me yes he can but guess what i gotta work out my soul salvation there is something that i have to do i gotta keep presenting faith i gotta keep believing him i gotta keep presenting obedience yes. i can't just talk this thing it's not a look it's not not a voice it's not a talk it's not because your voice raises it's not because you can get emotional we get excited when we're talking about god we get excited because when the anointing comes and he's speaking yes we get excited but guess what that's not the look all right if God is coming for what's on the inside and the intents of your heart, mm -hmm. glory to God. But do you believe it? Hallelujah. Say through faith. 
Ah, faith is what's going to get us out of here because we believe it. And therefore, we operate like people who believe God. We don't do any and everything. We don't say any and everything. He say, by this shall all men know. Therefore, we love each other. Therefore, we treat each other like we love each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, we have got different personalities, mm -hmm. and your personality may not always agree with mine, but guess what? It don't change the love. We just that together. We just pulled that together. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But do it's because we believe it. Yes, that's it. That's it. Glory to God. Do you believe it? Hallelujah. Hey, K O O Shanda, hallelujah! Y'all forgive me, y'all. You know no, no, that that's no, just no, 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 no. oh my God, my God! I've been doing you know just doing a little research. Have of, your way, Lord. Have your way. Just been in my spirit. Just sound good. So many people just talking and just Amen. people want mm -hmm. to look and have sound. There's a church sound, you know, and, and all it is, but God help me to move past that point. If I can't say a word, let me be able to wave my hand and my hand is anointed. Let me be able to wave my hand and you receive the praise Glory. that's coming out of my hand. Amen. Help Amen. My thoughts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I'm yeah meditating can nobody hear me meditate but god yeah. hallelujah. all right all right he's my meditation Glory. hallelujah is that holy? Is that saved? Hallelujah. 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 Lord, hallelujah. hallelujah. But it's because I believe he's real. I believe he's God. I believe he has a way. I believe it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So even when we get, you know, just under the load and sometimes we get frustrated and sometimes we get tired there's a lot on us because we want to just do it when god has given you an assignment you want to get it done and it looks like so many things comes against it and then you all tired and then the devil come and say now what what, what you wearing yourself off for what for what for what it's because i believe it all right. All right. I, hallelujah if i believe he asked me to finish something yeah, yeah. hallelujah Say that. Say that. And if I finish it, there's a reward. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If, you yes. know, I'm not the one. If he give you an assignment, he is a God that can that, that that's responsible mm -hmm. for orchestrating it. He's responsible yes. for being a supplier yes. of whatever you need for the assignment. He's the he's the one that's that's responsible yes. for you completed the assignment if you are walking the way he asks you to walk. Mm -hmm. If you are doing what he asks you to do, then, then we got to be taught and learn how to give him what belongs to him. Lord, this is your, yeah. I'm walking, I'm doing it, but the steps is yours. All right. My yes. Yes, by you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And if I'm stepping, you are ordering me. So therefore, you are responsible for where my feet land. Right. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Responsible for the path that I take. You're responsible for my turns, my lefts and my rights and my straights. You're responsible. Mm -hmm. So we, as, as saints of God, we are learning how to give it to him, yeah. how to lean on him. Are we perfect at it? No, that's why repentance is there. That's why the advocate is available. Because Thank you, Lord. Going right, and he told me to go left. Lord, forgive me and get back left. Mm. Glory to God. He's he's going to make sure, hallelujah, that I'm in a position yes. where I can be presented oh, to him yes. faultless. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. And guess what? He's going to get exceeding joy. Yes, he is. Sending me, and I believe it. Yes, I believe it. Believe it. That's why we take what we take. That's why we go through what we go through. Because I believe. I believe it. it. No matter what comes, even when the devil try to shake it, and when the things come into your eyesight, we have to pray. Yes. Yes. 
we got to tell our senses to get behind me. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I got to see what God see. Mm. I got to hear what God hear because, hallelujah, mm. there's an assignment that I got to finish. I believe it. There's something I got to finish. And I believe I can finish mm. it. I believe he gave I it. Believe. I believe. I believe it. I believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when people think you crazy, when people wonder what's wrong with you, why are you doing that? Why are you still there? Because I believe. believe. Hallelujah. And it's not about what you say. It's not about what you yes, say. Right. Thank yes. you, Lord, for placing it in my spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I ask them to strengthen the belief. All right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, because when you get worn and, and tossed around, the belief can start oh, feeling God. like it's getting shaky because of what you Lord see. Hallelujah, because mm. you feel. Lord, strengthen the belief. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. I know for a fact mm. he will take faith and do something with it when you ask him for it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost today, Glory. if faith hadn't have come alive, hallelujah. hallelujah, faith, it has life in it, yes. hallelujah, yeah. faith lives, hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah, take you to higher heights yes. that you have never been in, faith will mm. do that, mm. faith will do that, mm. hallelujah, hallelujah, we live like we live, we do what we do, because we believe it, believe it, because we believe it. Oh, God, strengthen our belief. Because as our belief strengthen, everything else is going to operate out of that. Out of that is where we're going to, because guess what? That's going to be our treasure. Yes, yes. That's going to yes. be treasure. And you operate out of the things in your heart. So if my heart believes God, I'm going to operate like God is real. Yes, I'm gonna yes. yes. Me. Right. I'm going to operate like he hear me. I'm going yes. like he know what I'm doing. Mm. He know what yes. I'm thinking about. I'm going to operate mm. that way because I believe God. It is not just a phrase. It's not just a phrase. It's not just a look. It's not just a t-shirt. It's not just a cap. It's not just a, a bumper sticker, mm -hmm. but it's in my heart. All right, glory to God. Yes. It's a heart thing. What did Pastor say? It's a heart a, thing. It's not a hard thing. It's a heart thing. Heart I, thing. I was listening oh, Sunday. Oh, <laughs> I was listening on Sunday. <laughs> but that and 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 I love that when he was talking about op, not operating out of the day behavior. Oh Jesus. The, the 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 day behavior y'all y'all that, that was some good word on sunday that was some good word on sunday whoever missed sunday was just woo. amen right but y'all can go back and look at the youtube sunday school oh my goodness oh my goodness so see see sunday school when you were looking at that lesson in that culture connection that i remember the name because i used to do my father-in-law's name roy so pastor oh. roy believed it yeah Glory to God. Yeah. And it took them someplace. Yeah. It took them further. Glory so God. saints of God, through faith. Through faith. And this is one that keeps going. This is not just that initial. It don't just make the fact that I got saved today. And you know, people go, oh, I got saved. And everybody, oh, good, good. You know, we all happy for you. Rejoice with them that rejoice. We are rejoicing with you. But guess what? Tomorrow I got to be saved. And guess what it's going to take? Faith. The next day I got to be saved. It's going to take faith. My salvation is going to stay through faith. Because I believe God. Praise God, praise oh, God, praise God. God. My God, my God, glory to God. Lady P, thank God for that. Oh Lord, it says so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh my God, that was, uh, that was, you went through, went through the whole scripture and, uh, but I was listening to what you're saying and because you believe, you to for us, right, it's, it's right in the scripture, because you believe, then you find
find yourself walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you believe you walk in it. Mm-hmm. And that and that and you were saying it, it was matching up right to what the scripture that comes right after our one our one that we were looking at, mm-hmm. because it's in the same passage mm-hmm. and it all draws from the same because it's all in the context. Mm-hmm. And it says, For we are his workmen, because we are his workmanship. Created, created what a two good, good, good works so as we walk in him mm-hmm. because you're showing you believe in him you walk in him and it becomes yeah. in him the good works automatically come because it's showing you believe what he says mm-hmm. glory to god and the and so you don't have to make the work like it was saying here earlier you don't have to make it, it automatically just comes because you believe what he says mm-hmm. and it all because you believe you show. start walking in it it's and because it's you're it's walking it. in it there it comes well, with the work. Mm-hmm. It automatically is into good works. So, mm-hmm. you know, you're not trying to make it. Hallelujah! But you're doing it, and I love it because. And then you were saying for us how we're, you know, for us, it's, you know, we don't and we don't stop there. Mm-hmm. We keep on going. It's a day by day, mm-hmm. you know, walk, you know, and we continue to, you know, for us trust it. We continue to to uh, have, you know get, uh, have faith. We continue on believing day by day. So we. And you know, so it's a day by day walk. We don't, we just don't stay at when he when he when he saves us, fills us with the Holy Ghost. Thank God for that is that for that's a miraculous. Thank God for the gift of, of the Holy Ghost. Thank God He has saved us. Now we move on. Now we now He wants us to continue on. Mm-hmm. To save to be saved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have to we have to continue on. This uh, you know, and we find ourselves as we continue on, and it's showing that we believe Him. Mm-hmm. Glory to God, my God, my God. So we thank God for, oh, Lord, oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> all that was said. Also, how you exhausted the word of God. My God, beautiful, beautiful. There's nothing else can, you can add to it. <laughs> well, evangelists have put up a scripture. Um, everyone can't see the chat. It says on Psalms 27, 13, she said, I had fainted ah. unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise God, God, praise God. I have believed to see. I have believed. And see that that's one thing I, I think I was praying or talking to God the other day. I, you know, I was just remembering this. I I, I just want to see the other side of Lord, this. Lord. And I, I was just telling them, okay, I, I'm I will keep on going. I'm gonna keep on going no matter what it feels like, no matter what it looks like, because I want to see the other side. All right. Because I know the promises. All right. I can't get to the promises. I can't see the promises if I stop. Mm-hmm. If I faint, I won't see the promises. Mm-hmm. I won't see what he has already said is going to happen if you don't faint. Right. I want to see that. And because and so since I want to see that, I gotta keep going. That's right. That's it. Faith is pulling me. Yes, Faith yes. from that side. All right. Faith of that promise mm-hmm. is pulling me to it. All right. So when when I'm believing that something is on the other side, right. it's taking, it's the other end of the rope. Right. And so what that does is it pulls you to it. All right. Glory to God. And that's what helps you go through it because the scripture said, wherefore, remember. remember. Remember what he said. So what he said is on the other side side of the rope so therefore that is pulling me through glory to god so if i hang on to that promise that promise is helping to pull me through to that other side i don't know i don't know if you can see it the way i'm seeing it it's like the promise is holding you know how they they play tug of war the promise is on one side of the rope uh-huh. and I'm on the other side uh-huh. and it's just pulling me through, pulling me through. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I love it. I, and because and you believe it just Because I believe it gives, it gives more strength to yes, the promise. Yes, ah, more strength to the promise glory. because I believe Please. I'm adding the faith. Glory, glory to God. God. Evangelist has her hand up. Clark. Praise the Lord. Forgive my tardiness. Um, I was delivering something to someone. Um, I 
uh, I believe it's on the list of our most popular. What does your face say? I'm, I didn't understand you. Your phone is doing something. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, I can. Okay. I, I either, either I spoke this message or talked to us and I can't remember which, but I know it, the Lord had told me, the Lord had spelled it out. What does your faith say? All right, mm. all right. All right. Because he's given us each a measure of faith. Right, yes. To begin with. But as we walk this life, as, as we walk this walk and we, we get saved and everything, we're not supposed to say to, to stay baby saints. So as we grow, our faith should grow. As we as we learn more of him. Take on more of him. That's supposed to grow. Mm -hmm. So each time, every time as it grows, what is it saying? Mm -hmm. What is your faith saying? Just like she said, her uh, first lady was saying, her faith is telling her she wants to see what it, it takes her to wanting to see the other side of the promise. Mm -hmm. But somebody else may faith may not even reach. And that faith is saying to them, he can take me here. All right. But I, I just can't, I, I'm trying to trust him for the rest. I'm trying to trust him for the rest, but I know he had me here. That's where we, we check to see what is our faith saying? Where are we? That's mm -hmm. it. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. Because just when she just said, it made me think when she said, faith is strength to the promise. Mm -hmm. The stronger my faith is, and, and the more I'm going to work harder. I don't care what nobody says, because I believe that makes me go harder in the pain. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just like when we play, when we play basketball and uh, we got on that court. When we out there, we look, you know, we size up the team. Sometimes we size them up before it's time for us to play them. But we get out there, our coach looks, she sends us to each, you know, she, she sends the starters out and she, she sides, she goes, she sends us out according to who's out there on the court. Mm -hmm. But she does that because I believe they can handle that. Mm -hmm. I believe they can handle that. Now, as the game goes on, you looking at more, you see it, but you already, you already feeling because you've already felt the game. Pastor, you probably can understand it. You can feel the momentum of the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, yes. And you can feel the intensity of the game. So you know. Now you like if we can just get, I know we got this. Yeah. We can keep this momentum. We got this. Right, right, right. Yes, yes. So here it is. Yo, but that's what your faith is. That's what your faith tells you for the promise. Mm -hmm. If I can make it each day, each day you going, if I can make it past the day, I got this. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I go another day, I got this. Mm. Let it take me another day. I got this. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Each day, each game, and I can say each game, each, each, because you, you every day the enemy tries something. That's his job. Yes. yes. He tries something. But every day God got a plan. Mm -hmm, all right, mm -hmm. all right, all right. Every day God got to go this way. Yes. And then you may not understand it until after you go that way. But the devil had a plan, but God, there you go. God sent you that way. If I can just get past today, uh -huh. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I can go another round. Get me past today, God. And many times that has been saints prayer. They may not say that, they may not be honest. I mean, I don't say not be honest. They may not be open and say that. But it's many times that if I could just hold on, if I could just make it to tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. If I can just make it to the 
I know God got something for me. I just got to make it through this. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. What does your faith say? Mm. My faith is speaking. That's what keeps me walking. My faith speaks in my steps. Yes, yes. Your faith shows in the steps that you take and how you take them. Your faith is speaking loudly when you do that. Mm -hmm. I don't even have to tell nobody what I believe. Yeah. Your faith does it. That's right. They can see it in my walk. That's it. See it in there you go. Walk. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Because yeah. now I'm there like, well, you can't go, you can't, you can't play with her because she too, she too, you know, she only gonna go so far. Da, 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 da. Yeah, because my no, because it ain't time to play. Yeah. Certain things, you know, you get that way with certain things you don't play with or whatever. But then people start looking at you and they say, oh, they start trying to measure you by that. But all I'm doing is go keeping my focus. Yes, that's it. That's it. Because my faith said right now. That's not the people to be with. That's not the group to be. So guess what? My faith says this. Yes, yes, yes. So we sit and we wonder, we think about what is my faith saying? Mm -hmm. How loud is my faith speaking? Mm. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. Troy, I see your hand. Um, when she, when uh, evangelist, uh, Clark said, um, Lord, help me get through this day. That's something that I actually encourage myself with and people. And, and the way I do it is, is the way I do it is, is, is the way God gave it to me is the thing is, is no matter what happened, even a minute ago, there's nothing you can do to change that. Mm -hmm. The Bible says tomorrow is not promised. Right. So all we have are the moments we're living right now. All right, all right. So in all the moments we have we're living right now, Lord, help me in this moment. today, right now, this yeah. next minute, Ooh. this next second, this this next minute, this next, you know, you know, just Lord help me this next next hour. Yes. Yes. Remember how you used to say you said that take your time to live holy, Bishop Tyler used to tell you that? That's that's what I'm essentially saying is today. You know, uh, uh, um, what is that scripture? Grave is that faithfulness. Uh, our, uh, our mercies are renewed every morning. I'm messing up that scripture, but you know what I'm saying in regards of of, of our faith of of of, of, our, of us of God giving us mercy every single day, just a new mercy. You know, and, and He's given us even a new a new grace. He said His grace is sufficient for us, and just take advantage of what He's given us, and and don't let your past uh, uh, sneak up on you and drain your faith. And just live in this time of the grace that God has given you, and 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 that in itself um, will help build your faith. Another thing is always remember: you know you're doing good when somebody's trying to tear you down. You know you're doing well when somebody's talking about you. You know because I don't know if you guys remember, but before I got saved, I was one of the coolest people around. Before I got saved, everybody wanted to be around me. Before I got saved, I said, oh, yeah, Troy, you come in here, you go in there, yeah, I'll be there, You'll be, let's go hang, whatever, whatever. But the moment I took a stand, right. that is when, the moment I got saved and I took a stand, that is when everything changed. So when you take your stand, what did Jesus go through? What did he go through? The moment a stand is taken is when the enemy shows his head. Oh, I lost one, so I got to get him back. And then that's where the fight begins. So just the, that's how you know you're fighting a good fight. It is a fight because somebody's messing with you. The devil's using you. And, and uh, like Pastor Perkins is, was saying that in your fight, man, so it, 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 what he was, he was saying Sunday, it's like, during that fight, man, it's like you, you, it's a fight. You got to keep going. You got to uh, uh, you can't walk in that they kind of category. You have to keep fighting. You have to do everything you can. You can't give up. You see determination. And the way he was saying it, there was a time that I almost threw in the top. And I love those statements when you say I almost because that means when you don't do it, that means God showed up to show you something to help better yourself. 
And every time you get to that point where God has to show you, that gives you that gives you more faith. It gives you a bigger testimony. It makes you stronger in the spirit. It makes you thankful. Yeah. Say, Lord, keep me in this place where I am humble so that I never lose track of where I am and who you are because I want to keep on living for you the correct way so I can make it. That is my drive. Don't let me lose my focus. Yeah. So when she's saying from day to day, that's where we have to look at. So when you're going through, don't count it out that you're not doing, that you're doing bad. Count it that the devil is there to force you to pray. The devil is there to help you be humble. The devil is there. So count it all joy that he's messing with you. And it's hard. Don't get me wrong. It discourages people sometimes. But you got to say, Lord, thank you. I got to get on my knees for this. I got to get you, you. It keeps you in a place where you have to keep dependent on you. So that's what I mean by when God has given us that grace, take advantage of that grace he's given us and do something worthwhile. Even if you're doing nothing but praying, even if you're doing nothing but praising the Lord, even if you're doing nothing but being quiet and just meditating, whatever that thing is God has given you to do with your grace, make sure it's for him and his glory. That's it. Love it. Oh, awesome. My God, my Ooh, God, yes, God. yes, Ooh, yes. My God. I love that. That's like a praise break right there. Yeah, I, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm yes, serious. yes. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, mm. God. You said a mouthful. Oh, my mm. God. Ooh, ooh. No, that's that's it. Thank you. My God, that's Troy. That's, that's, that, was, that is it, you know. Glory to God. Ooh. Glory to God. We got to we got to continue day by day. And I love it the moment. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Glory to God. Like, even the, the Bible tells us, don't moment. worry about tomorrow. My God. Glory to God. It's sufficient to itself. Glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Glory to God. It's, but I love the moment because that's it. You can you can find yourself getting caught up and looking down the line too far. <laughs> my God, my God. I yeah, love this, it. Man. The Ooh. song Your Grace and Mercy Your says, grace. I'm living this moment uh -oh. Uh -oh. because of you. Praise Glory God, this God. moment. Yes. <laughs> moment by Ooh, moment. That's a message within us. Glory, <laughs> glory to God. Oh glory to God. God, man. Oh yes, man. yes. All right. Well, uh, we, well, we thank God. My God. We're we enjoying we, this. Ooh, enjoying and, it. Yes, enjoying it. My God, my God. So we, we thank God for, we, we're not going we're not going to uh, keep it too long tonight, but we thank God for this another awesome scripture. Uh, Ephesians 2 and 8 and how you see how how God has blessed us because if you were able to you know open up the word of God we're able to go through the scripture and then we go through the passage and get an understanding what the passage is saying and then Lord allows us just to be able to take us here and there so we can really get a really a great understanding of what the word of God is saying and what the what the and what the scripture is bringing out for us so and and, and I just love it what you know for us how God is working this and and allowed us to be able to learn from the scriptures and learn from the word of God. And we learn it from each other. Glory to God. So we thank God for, for, for tonight. If, uh, if we have, if, if before we get ready to dismiss, anybody else have any, any comments before we dismiss? But I, I love everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. But if anybody else have any comments before we get ready to dismiss on it, any, any other comments before we, before we mm -hmm. get There's no other comments. Again, we thank God for each and every one of us. We have, yeah, we have no, one. I just, uh, before, at the end, be, just before we dismiss, I, I, that song is still yeah, in my spirit yeah, that I want to, yeah, yeah, that I wanted yes. to, uh, uh, wanted to um, about, um, ah, I'm trying, trying to think of it just, just because I'm trying to say it. Your grace and mercy. No, 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 no. He wouldn't come down from the cross just to save himself that that i i i that that's just in in oh, you know just to share that one and and that'll be at the end and oh, before we before we end oh, it says maybe an easter song but it's it's about the gift of god and that grace and why he did what he could have done and he didn't and it's just a simple hymn but it'll sound like Troy is playing the, the organ. Oh, <laughs> I love this song, but I just wanted to share that before we get off the air. Yes. It shows how much he loved us because he could have 
like I said, stood, he just stayed on that car. He, he could have came out anytime he wanted. Mm -hmm. Show up the love of God, you know, just to see the oh God, to see the assignment all the way through. Glory to God, my God, my God. He stayed there, hung there, took the pain, took the punishment, took whatever was necessary. <laughs> He gave. He gave to us. Yeah, that's that's gonna be awesome. Thank God again for everybody being with us tonight. Thank God for the scripture. Thank God for what all was said and done. Glory to God is helping us all. Helping us all. Right now we don't have our own. Praise the Lord. Our announcements are um food bank this week. Food bank this week. Again, uh, we'll be here Saturday from 12 to 2 and just pray um, our strength. And we already know God will show up and he always does. And so that someone will be blessed. And we'll be back in the church on Sunday together at um, Sunday school at 930. And Sunday is Mother's Day. Yes. So we're looking forward to celebrating the mothers. Celebrate the mothers. Celebrate the mothers. I, we can tell. We can tell. Uh, uh, you can tell what uh, Lady P has was when she wasn't there. You can see how Lord was. You know, all this is just bowled up. And <laughs> <laughs> she she had the whole lesson. <laughs> we thank God. So, oh Lord, don't leave us in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God. And she's feeling better. She's doing better. And she sounds good. Glory to God. And we just thank God what he's doing for her and how he's healing her and strengthening her. So we just thank God and for the prayers. Thank God for all the prayers. Thank God for being, you know, for praying for her and, and you know, because she is doing, as we heard, mm -hmm. she's doing much better. Glory <laughs> to God. Glory to God. If there's nothing else, we get ready to dismiss. Yes. Hold on one second. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that song. It's not Easter, but oh my God, you know, you know, we if we hadn't been singing that, you know, we would have worked that. <laughs> oh my God, I love that song. It just, you know, I just been on the y'all, y'all just <laughs> I've been kind of at home. <laughs> well, we enjoy it. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed everything that was said and done tonight. We thank God. If there's nothing else, we just we can dismiss. But again, thank God for your presence. Thank God for each other uh, being with us. And thank God all that was said and done. Father God, we thank you tonight. We thank you for the scriptural law that was started off tonight on our for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, as any man should boast. Lord God, we thank you for the scripture. We thank you for allowing us to bring out the scripture we thank the law for all that was allowed to be a, to glean we thank you lord for allowing for the entire passage of learning to learn what it was saying and lord how you would be able and where the same thing was brought out from it one that's going to continue, continue oh lord to cover us continue oh lord to help us day by day oh lord continue oh lord, to help us to walk in the word of god hallelujah Continue, O oh Lord, to direct our paths, O oh Lord, order our steps. Help us to be the saints of God that you're calling us to be. We thank you for every opportunity that you have given. We thank you for all that you have done and what you continue to do. We ask that you continue to look over our families, right, each and one that's represented tonight here, O oh Lord. Lord, continue to strengthen, heal, and deliver. Continue to save, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as you leave this place, but not your presence, we ask you to bring us back in the next appointed time in which we ever give you the honor and glory. As we will by name. In Jesus' my name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen.